Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sims 4 video. So today we are going to be following along with my trad wife sim, Kyle. I did mention in a community post the other day that I created Kyle um, because I've been missing the family experience. Sometimes I really just want to play with a big family and so normally when that's the case I will create a trad wife sim and allow her to kind of just immerse herself completely in that family dynamic. So that is where Kyle comes from here. Um, so Kyle is a young adult. She is married to her husband Javi who we will meet later. Javi is an adult and this is Javi's second marriage and Kyle's first. So we will meet their three children. They have some pets. We'll meet them as well. Um, and there's not really any kind of plan to what I'm going to consider a current household video. I'm just going to be following along with the family and playing the way that I would play normally. Um, so we will see what happens with Kyle and the rest of the family today. But yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't know that there's anything else that I need to share for now. So we'll get started. So we've got Kyle here, as you can see, her husband is asleep still. He doesn't get up until a little bit later. Um, we already have two of the kids awake. So um, Chase, who is Javi's daughter, Chase is awake and getting ready for school. And we've got Scout, who is also awake and needs to start getting ready for school in just a few minutes. Dylan is still asleep along with Graham, the dog, and then our cat Maggie is dying apparently. So all things that we need to do something about. So it's about six o'clock in the morning, which is usually when Kyle wakes up to make sure that the girls get off for school. So we can see Scout kind of hanging out in the background. And I do have, actually, let me make sure that this is the case. Um, yeah, yeah, I need to turn this off. So I need to have autonomy off, not because I don't want these Sims to have their own lives and do their own thing, but because they are completely obsessed with the yogurt and the marshmallows in the refrigerator. And so they keep going to mess with them. In fact, she might be, yes, she's down there now eating a jar of yogurt. They are absolutely obsessed with this. So let me have Kyle come and get started. She is going to brush her teeth before she does anything. And then I would like her to come over to Scout and get her dressed for the day. So let's change her into this outfit and then what is chase doing okay yes she is down here with the smelly blue cat um we are going to have her put that down and then she needs to come back up to her room and start getting ready so her room is on the i guess is the third level um she is going to come up to her room she is going to use the restroom and wash her hands and then i need her to get changed as well and she can wear this one today. So Kyle is still brushing her teeth. She is going to get Scout ready. Is she on her way to Scout? I certainly hope so. And we will see, I'm assuming, um, Chase start to make her way upstairs. So she's going to get Scout ready. I'm not gonna do like a tour. I will leave the description for this lot, the link to this lot down in the description. Um, as usual, I did not build this. I did kind of redecorate it to my sim style. This is, um, we're in Oasis Springs. I think I might've failed to mention that um, on the land grab family's lot because the lighting is absolutely gorgeous as you can already see. We haven't even really done anything and just look how pretty the lighting is here. So this is Scout's room. We won't do, like I said, a whole to-do on kind of looking at um, any of the house, but as we go through, you'll see um, individual rooms. And I do apologize if you can hear, there's like a plane flying over me, like one of those little hobby planes. I think I mentioned in another video that I live near a hobby airport. Um, so, and it's a Saturday when I'm filming this video, so all of the hobby airplane owners are out doing their thing today so apologies if you hear any of that um wait what is wrong with um don't hold me from being carried why is scout being carried put her down right now so um i believe that that is one of her things so she has the silly personality trait 
she has the quirks of um she hates being carried it said this toddler hates to be carried toddlers with this quirk can manage on their own thank you very much caregivers should be careful picking this toddler up as they will likely put the toddler in a bad mood which is exactly what is happening right now she also loves books that one says this toddler loves books toddlers with this quirk enjoy playing around bookshelves and are more likely to do book related activities when able and then she is also a picky eater and this one says this toddler is very particular about food toddlers with this quirk regularly refuse food that's given to them and will even toss it from time to time what a mess and she does do that and it is very infuriating so she is dressed mom is still carrying her i don't think she has the skill to get herself downstairs while she is complaining about being held so i will bring her downstairs and then mom will get started on breakfast so let's um put scout down here and then while she's doing that i will get her set up to cook so she is going to make um breakfast and let's do the little darling preschool is now open for the day will scout be attending today yes but she is not going to go right now so um should she leave preschool yes we'll take her later is she even downstairs yet did we leave her no pick her back up she can't get downstairs um pick up and then once she has picked her up put scott down here all right so back to breakfast we are going to make pancakes and toast let's do um regular pancakes she is still upset it looks like scout is yes from feeling constricted scout is the sort of toddler that doesn't like being held it's so restricting she just wants to be free um that's unfortunate all right so she's downstairs now she's feeling much better uh she has a happy moodlet so we'll let her just come over here and play the xylophone while she waits for mom to finish up breakfast and then chase is still doing what she needs to do upstairs so chase has the bookworm personality trait it says these sims gain powerful moodlets from analyzing books and can discuss books in unique ways and then she also has high confidence and i believe this comes from um growing together correct me if i am wrong but this says um, Sims with high confidence have learned to believe in themselves. They become confident more easily, even when learning from mistakes. However, they can still be hurt when criticized. High confidence becomes high self-esteem when aging into a teen. A child Sims confidence level can increase or decrease. Let me finish reading that. Can increase or decrease. Um, depending on the skill gain, school performance, positive and negative socialization, succeeding or failing in skill-based activities, confident or embarrassed moods, and more. Caregivers criticizing or praising a child's behavior also impacts their confidence levels. All right, so I believe she's on her way downstairs. So I will have Kyle come over here and make a lunch. So let's do... Um, Make a sack lunch let's go with the veggie and hummus sandwich and then we will have uh chase come over here and grab a serving we want to make sure that she eats first because she has to leave at a specific time and we can sort of have scout leave whenever she's ready to go do want to make sure she has breakfast first but i think we will allow her to just hold on to that until she gets to um to school today all right so she has made her lunch let's go ahead and move well we're not going to move it yet we'll let um chase come over and get first looks like the dog has to go to the bathroom uh scout has reached level two of the thinking skill there's already so much happening and most of the sims in this family or all of the sims in this family aren't even awake so let's ask graham to go potty while we are waiting and then we will also have where is she i specifically told her to come downstairs and get some breakfast and she has not moved let's move this over here come and grab a serving please and we will ask the dog to go potty and then we are going to disable pickup first and then put scout here which means that scott will need a scout well oh she's already done okay 
So she did get a mood lit from playing on the xylophone and it says Scout seems pretty amused by the sound of the xylophone. She's got a positive two for playful and we're still waiting for um, Chase to come downstairs. I don't think she's going to have enough time to grab her lunch. So I am going to do her a solid and I'm going to grab that for her. She is holding on to that jar of yogurt for dear life. So let's go ahead and throw that away for her. Um, let's put that in the trash. All right. So Scout is seated. Let's have mom grab a serving for her, pick up a serving, and then let's also give Scout something to drink. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I said, give a drink to Scout. Let's give her, do we have an orange juice? Orange juice. And then we will put that there and she can eat those pancakes. So hopefully, oh, the dog needs attention. Uh, good thing that Javier is awake because we can have him do that. I'm assuming he came over here to turn off the alarm. He is hungry and he needs to use the restroom and have a shower. Let's have him go ahead and do those things. So use the restroom, have a shower, um, take a regular shower, brush your teeth, and then come over here and he can get dressed. He does not have work today, so he's going to be home helping out with the kids. He can actually come and help out with Bram, who appears to be having a really, really hard time. So after he's finished, he can come and pet Graham and give uh, Graham a treat. Um, where did it go? Friendly, give treat. Hopefully that will help him with his sad mood. He needs to be entertained. And like I said, our cat is dying and we do not have time to go to the vet today. So I think what we will do is we will just buy Maggie a treat online. Let's find out where that is. Order purchase pet items and then we'll just grab a few of these so that we have them for later and then what's Maggie up to or Maggie's using the restroom we will give Maggie some privacy um, he is going to do that stuff and then I'll have him grab oh she tried it she tried it unacceptable but the thing that's so frustrating about them doing that is that she's not even full. Like, she's still hungry. How many servings of this do we have? We've got six left. So give her another. You know what? Actually, no. Let her go. Um, enable pickup. Get her out of there and let her go to school. And she can deal with that there. Because absolutely not. She made a mess on the floor that we have to clean up. This is unacceptable. And she's just trying to have a regular conversation like she didn't just throw her food on the floor in the middle of this dining room. No, ma'am. All right, put her down. Put her down. Put her down. Put her down. All I told you to do was let her out. Maybe I told you to pick her up. I don't remember. But put her down and then send her to school. Send to school. And it looks like Chase has already left, so let's have her actively participate. And then Javi is still taking his shower, so we will. Um, first, let's give Maggie this treat so that Maggie does not die. And then we will pick up this food on the floor. Fortunately, Dylan is still sleeping, so that is super helpful. Throw that away. All right, Maggie's all better, and then we will polish that to perfection. All right, so what do we have going on over here? Kyle just became friends with Maggie. That's nice. It looks like Chase has acquired the logic skill, and um, we're not emptying any other trash. Come over here and clean that up. She's also acquired the charisma skill and the creativity skill. Scout is also off to preschool. So everyone is doing what they're supposed to do. She's also reached thinking level two um, and movement level two. Okay, and Kyle's spotlight is fading, which I don't believe it is because I have that turned off. 
Um, all right, he is doing what he's supposed to do for the puppy. The puppy is now in a much better mood. So should I have him come and eat or should I have him go upstairs and take care of Kyle or not Kyle Dylan, who is starving to death? I think I'm going to have Javi, who is absolutely gorgeous, by the way, come upstairs and take care of Dylan before she gets taken away. So Dylan, okay, she is in bed. Um, not sleeping anymore because she is starving so come up here and let's pick up Dylan and while that is happening I think I'm going to allow mom to eat because she has been up for a few hours now taking care of everyone else she deserves to have her breakfast so let's grab a serving of those pancakes while we're waiting for Javi oh he's fast okay so Javi sit down with that baby sit down with that baby Javi Javi sit down with the baby what is he doing sometimes it frustrates me so much that these sims take so long to do the most basic of things um, Javi wants to have another child and he also wants to do something romantic so he's absolutely tried it on the having another child do what I asked you to do oh my god where are you going please he's gonna put that baby down I specifically told you pick up the no pick up the baby pick up the baby please don't come up here okay she's still eating all right you pick up the baby you sit in the chair with the baby thank you all right and then you wait there was a toy up here what happened to the toy there was a toy right there it was like a anteater or something where did it go Oh my gosh, all right. Um, feed your child, baby care, feed, bottle feed. So let's bottle feed that baby. He's gonna completely ignore the disgustingness that is coming off of her butt because she is starving right now. So that takes precedence. It doesn't look like he's ignoring it though. It says stinky diaper from being near an infant, a strong putrid smell is lurking from someone near Javier. So yeah, that's happening. Um, he is moving on up from a promotion and he has minty fresh breath. So what did we just get? Um, Kyle received the new quirk refined palette. Wonderful. So I'm assuming that means that she is done eating, right? Oh, another thing you should know is that I don't mean to do this on purpose, but because I'm used to playing by myself, I have a really bad habit of pausing the game a lot in order to um, get stuff done. So I'm going to apologize in advance if that is irritating, but that is absolutely a thing that I do. So I'm going to have her come upstairs and she can now, I believe, use the restroom and I don't know that she needs a shower necessarily. So let's just use the restroom and let's wash our hands. I think she already brushed her teeth. Um, yes, she did, because she's got the moodlet is going away. It says, absolutely excellent meal from Refined Palette Quirk. Um, what does he have going on here? Something for Chase, I'm assuming. Chase got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She is with the nurse now. Do, do a thorough health check, which affects responsibility, or make sure she doesn't get teased, which affects empathy. Um, I hope that she wouldn't be teased, but I would think the most important thing is to make sure that she's healthy. So let's go with the first option, which has increased her responsibility and decreased her emotional control, I guess. All right. So we are back on Kyle. Kyle is doing this stuff, and then I'm going to have her um change her outfit she can put on this one today and then she can come and freshen up get herself together for the day and then are we are we done wait what is going on my goodness having so many people in this house means there is literally constantly something happening all right it says chase's pe class gets to run laps lots of them to build their stamina and lung capacity she is mostly through the first lap when she notices a gap under the bleachers just the right size for a little rest would coach notice if she sat out a few laps absolutely keep running girl 
You've done one lap and you're already trying to give in. Arya says, Chase glances around and decides it's too risky, but imagining the cool shade helps her pick up a little speed. Chase finishes all her laps with a new personal best time. Performance gain, small. Wonderful. All right, so you have finished feeding the child. Um, where did that bottle go? I know, oh, it's on the floor. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. I will have you come over here and you can change Dylan's diaper, what just happened. Chase reached mental level two. Um, get out of the chair, Javi, thank you. I don't understand why the bottle goes on the floor when there is a trash can, multiple trash cans actually, right here in the room. So I'll let him finish doing that. Kyle is Kyle doing? All right, she has used the restroom. I think I had her wash her hands, I hope I did anyway. And she is gonna come over here and sit down and get herself freshened up for the day. She's going for a casual look. What is happening? What Girl, okay, thank you. I was about to say, you just looking at yourself is not doing it. The lighting here is amazing. I feel like this is one of the most well-lit lots in the entire game, the way that the lighting comes through. So here's their view of like the front of the house. You can see the neighbors have already decorated for Love Day, which is actually tomorrow. Um, Scout has reached imagination skill level three. What is going on with my child? Why is she also angry? All right, so her diaper's been changed. We should probably look at her quirks because that doesn't look like she likes to be held either. So she has the calm personality trait. This one says the Sims like to watch the world are less likely to cry or become angry and don't grow tired of activities as long as other infants or as easily as other infants. However, they are less likely to explore the world on their own. She also has the hates being held trait or infant quirk. Um, it's the same as uh, what Scout has. And then she is a self-soother. Soother. This one says this infant will often try to self-soothe herself. Infant with this quirk are more likely to place their fingers and toes in their mouths to calm themselves when sad or angry and especially when crying so she's angry right now from being held and it says uh, maybe it's the sim or just the situation that's bothering her dylan is now infuriated from being held and wants to be put down so i don't know how i ended up with two children who do not like to be touched she also has a fresh tush from getting a diaper change a fresh diaper means a fresh lease on life this baby's going places apparently to the floor because that is the only place that she wants to be so i will have javi go ahead and change her outfit let's go with this first one here and then what can she do does she have energy she does she has some full energy so i will have him bring her down the stairs and she can go into her little oh no hobby needs to do that into her little mat down here and then are we done no she's still freshening up um yes right here okay so go ahead and get your freshen on it has a lot of perfume because she sprayed that like three times now She's filing her nails, love that for us. And okay, implying some lipstick, that's always nice. She should be done now though, right? So hopefully Javi is wrapping up because I think this might be a really good time for mom to get started, the mailman's over there, for mom to get started on some tummy time with baby. What does mom have going on? Blissfully clean from cleaning. Neat sims are happiest while cleaning. I didn't even talk about their traits um decorated growing so fast from skill gain one of her children and then inspiring decor so scout has the foodie the neat and the family oriented traits she also would be happy to have a child which absolutely is not going to happen not with all the sims in this house and she has a domestic um bonus trait from her family aspiration and the caregiver archetype i think we've read this one at some point in the past um achieved a pristine reputation those are for her children fell in love with hobby and got married she does have a degree they both do oh she's only a two level celebrity maybe it did go down um she has a drama degree and i think hobby has a degree in like art or something what does Javi have his degree in? Oh, he has the workaholic lifestyle. I forgot to mention that. And he also has a fine art degree. So 
Um, Javi is romantic, creative, and family oriented. He would also be happy to have a child right now. He is busy savvy, business savvy. I am having a hard time with basic English today. From choosing the fortune aspiration and he has the lover and the caregiver archetypes. I wonder why he has two and um, Kyle only got one. So is he done? He is not done. He is taking a really long time. Maggie is hanging out and keeping him company. He is not going to take that child downstairs like I asked him to. I don't know what it is with this game, but it seems like you have to tell them sometimes to do the same thing multiple times before they will actually do it. I did tell her to actively participate. Yes, I did. Okay. So go do that, Javi. And then I would very much love, I have to wait because he can't be trusted to do things on his own. All right. I would love it if you would go out and get the mail. And then you can actually come over to your office and write an article. What happened to my front door? I don't know what happened to my front door. So let's fix that real quick. All right. And he has set down that baby. So he's going to go get the mail. And then so this door too? What is going on with all of my doors? All right. Fix the door. So Javi is going to come over to his office. Now his office is very heavily inspired by another build from the same builder that did this lot. I basically just took the entire concept <laughs> and brought it over here. So I will link that lot in the description as well as an apartment um so i it, yeah basically just copy pasted the entire thing so i will have him once he gets the mail come over here and he will um let's write an article write interior decorator article hopefully he will get that done and yeah so this is what his office looks like i envision even though this is not an option in the game in my mind the way that this office is set up he maybe sees some clients here so on days when he's not off doing an actual job he is over here um meeting with folks and or preparing for his next job so that's what i think this office means or, or stands for because he's not really doing anything else in here you can't work from home with the interior decorated career so that's what I think he's doing um so Dylan is over here I will have mom come and she will do some tummy time with Dylan while she is awake and in a good mood Oh, someone just actually came and knocked on my door so I'm going to be right back all right we're back and Kyle is um, doing a little tummy time with Dylan on the floor as we can see Dylan is not having it I don't know I don't remember having this experience like where my child was having the hardest time accepting the fact that I needed her to roll over so I don't I don't know I don't know <laughs> but apparently this is how the sims thinks um that children behave all right so chase's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait that is wonderful that is huge for a person who doesn't have a job so let's go ahead and bring that down i also just realized that we never let javier eat so what's he doing he is diligently working away on his article <laughs> when he gets done with that i do want him to come and have um, I guess brunch because it is very late. So let's go ahead and have him do that. I don't know what that light is. Um, grab a serving. All right, so they're gonna finish this up. And then I imagine, wait, did he even finish it? He did not finish it. Um, Dylan has unlocked the lift head milestone. What's that over there? Dylan just lifted her head for the first time. There's so much to look at. Have caregivers practice tummy time together to unlock new milestones that will help Dylan see the world in more ways than she can imagine. And then she's also unlocked a couple of other things since we've been playing. What else has she unlocked already? So this is learn to reach. Work those tiny muscles. Dylan reached her arms out and then lifted head. We just got that one. And then first bath and first diaper blowout. I think that's it right born learn to coo dylan started making the most adorable cooing sounds and then first smiled 
So I think that's everything that she has done thus far. She's still in a pretty good mood. Love shown from receiving affection. Dylan feels occasionally occasional warm affection. First of all, I don't like how she makes that sound. Like, <laughs> like her parents don't normally show her affection. It sure does feel nice. If only it was more frequent. Oh my gosh, the shade. First of all, who hurt you like no one has done anything to this child we have just started playing this game rest time from being awake for too long all right fine we'll take your evil behind the sleep try to go night night um what, <laughs> what are we doing all right so he's eating we'll let him finish that and then i think um kyle will start to work on some stuff around the house it is now 12 30 she is just now getting to this so let's have her come in here and do some laundry in the garage um, so the garage is kind of like a catch-all, um, pretty much in any sim house that I'm responsible for in any way, that is a catch-all. So we've got the dog bath over here, the litter box, and the laundry stuff. So let's go ahead and put all of that out. And I don't think we can use these yet because I'm pretty sure, um, washing your room it says it's functional i don't even know how this works open we don't have anything in there but also i don't think that we have the ability to add any um anything to our washing machine just yet yeah a laundry additive tray we don't have that yet so we'll have to have javi do that at some point javi is taking oh we're paused i was about to say why is he taking so long to eat um and their backyard looks so nice it's good that they live in Oasis Springs because they can spend all kinds of time outdoors. I imagine this is a family that likes to spend a lot of time outside. All right, so he's eaten. He can actually put the rest of this away also. And then after he does that, please come back out here and finish that article. Um, doesn't look like Dylan has, oh, there she is. Okay, she just went to sleep. Graham came over to hang out with Javi and then he immediately left. So let's come over here and finish that article write um resume writing interior decorator article okay so he stopped because he was hungry all right so we have put all of the laundry in let's go ahead and start that and while scout is sleeping or not scout that's dylan while dylan is sleeping i would imagine she can go downstairs so i didn't mention this but the way that she makes money now, because, I mean, she might be a trad wife, but she's not about to let Javi be the only one making money in this house, is by um, doing videos. So she has a little office down here in the basement, and she creates content. So it's usually like beauty content, fashion content, um, you know, mom stuff. So she kind of talks about all of that. I think while... I don't know why I keep wanting to call this baby Scout while Dylan is sleeping. She can come downstairs and record a video. She might not get to edit it, but at least she can record it. So let's record. Um, someone did ask her to do a beauty review video. I don't know if we got to that in time, but we might not have. Let's do a beauty tips video. Oh, wait, that's not a beauty review video. That's beauty tips. Record a video, product review, beauty products. And then we'll have her come downstairs and do that um, while the baby is sleeping. This is a huge house. Like, this is not... I don't think I've recorded, with the exception of, like, Jackson's house, I don't think I've recorded in a house this size since I started doing YouTube videos. It is really, really big um, and kind of hard to keep up with where everything is. So she is going to do her recording. She is showing off the video or showing off the beauty products. Let's see. She is so stinking cute. I cannot. Um, I definitely see how she was a model. She's adorable. I'll let her finish that up. Um, and what were we working on? I think that's everything that we really need to do right now. So Chase won't be home until three. And then I think if I recall from in game yesterday, Scout doesn't come home until like four. So she's there a little bit later at school. So we'll let her spend some time working on that. While she's doing that, I'll show you the rest of the basement. The only thing I did was add in this office. Um, I think before it was like a vault room and I moved the vault someplace else. Beauty review video, what do we call this one? Um, 
I was never good with these. So when I am playing by myself, I call them nothing. But <laughs> I feel like we should call it something. So let's call it um, new Mac. That's not how you spell Mac. Lipstick line review. And I'm not going to give it a description. I don't have that kind of time, so let's do that. Um, Dylan is still sleeping, so can we start editing this? Wait, where do you edit with this thing? Post view video inventory. Okay, maybe I can. Um, over here, let's edit the video. Oh, she can't do it. That is the one thing I didn't test. So this is supposed to be like where she edits. But it doesn't look like it's going to work. So can she not sit here and do anything? View video inventory. Um, edit video. Why can't you edit it? You can. What? What? Oh my gosh. Anyways, so <laughs> it just gave me such a hard time. And then I do it again and she sits right down. Okay. So like I said, this is her office. And then they have like a little downstairs pool and um, a bar. And I don't think anyone has used that yet, but it looks like it will come in handy. And then there's a little gym over here. I did change this up a little bit. I just added in some different equipment um, that I wanted them to use. And then there's a sauna and a little restroom. So that's basically the entire basement. And then we've seen, I think at this point, all the other floors. The video has been successfully edited and can't be edited anymore. She might be able to get this done completely before Chase gets home. So let's view, um, what else can she do? It says it's good quality. Let's add some transitions. This has a whole different kind of like, <laughs> feel to it now having edited my own YouTube videos because I had no idea what she was doing before. But now that I've done this some, like this is very accurate. All right, she has already done the transitions and let's do, it says it's in great quality. Um, Does it go up to excellent? Let's just add effects. I hope it doesn't backfire on us because I know that that can happen when you try to do too many things. Is he done with this? He's almost done, okay. Graham is unhappy again. I don't know what, oh, Javier didn't get, Javier didn't gain any traction. Maybe it's time to brush up on his writing skill or even gasp, do better at work. Hold on a second. He has like a level nine writing skill. Am I wrong? Writing level nine. And he has a great work um, reputation. This game sometimes, I'm telling you, like there is no way that he would have, okay, to get to excellent quality, that he would have a bad like opportunity to do a review. Like anybody would love to have a review from a four star celebrity interior decorator. Let's upload that video. Um, so she was able to get that done before the kids come home. What's he doing? Oh, I forgot I turned off. Um, autonomy, so he's not doing anything. Um, Chase's empathy is enraged to earn the compassionate trait and the video has been uploaded. So we have done everything I think that needed to happen during the early part of the day. We'll have him come and hang out with Kyle a little bit um, because the kids will be home in just a few minutes. We also, is he just standing guard? What is happening? What are you doing, Graham? Are you just watching the baby sleep? Because if you are, that's adorable. Why does he have like a, like he has a seam for his body? Is he supposed to be wearing something or is this like, I don't know what happened there. Um, let's have him come and sit and then you're done with your video. You can come and sit upstairs and the two of you can chat. And then I think she does have to start preparing dinner soon. Even though no one is hungry, in my mind, in the traditional home, she would be making a dinner and then I guess whoever is hungry can eat it. Um, there she is. Oh wait, so many things are happening. Grades are up. Chase has been working hard and is now grade school B student. Great job. Okay, so what does Chase have going on? She just needs to have some fun. So I would think that before you do that, girly, let's pick up this poop. Throw that away. And then what can I have you come and do for fun? 
I guess you can. Oh, she didn't eat her lunch. Let's put that back in the refrigerator. Um, I don't think it's going to make it until Monday because it's Friday. But in the event that it does, let's put it back in the refrigerator. Um, why is he in the kitchen? Open. Let's put that back in the refrigerator. What is this? Chicken filet. All right. And then you can sit down. No, you do not need to do all that. Wait, what does she have going on? So it says, I believe in me from confidence gain. The most important person believes in Chase herself. She likes how the garage is decorated. Oh no, she's not in the garage anymore. Um, she likes that the air is green or clean. And good grades from great improvement. Succeeded in school. Succeeding in school makes young sims particularly happy. And then clean up pet poop. Eel gross. Why is it so warm and mushy? And then needs amusement from low fun. Could really use something fun to do. And I'm going to give her something fun to do. She can't watch TV because she will wake up Dylan. So she can actually just sit here with her dad and stepmom. And she can play a game. Let's play a game of... I don't know what this is, but play that. That looks fun and then I don't know why both of our pets are just handing it out in the kitchen I forgot to mention we do have another pet so this pet hangs out in the scouts room it is a goldfish you can't really see him right now because it's dark in here let's turn the light on is there a light in the scouts room where is the light in here oh it was right there um turn on this light and then you can see our good pal Lamont here. So this is Lamont the fish. <coughs> he lives in the scout's room. So that's the other pet that we didn't get around to introducing. All right, so she is doing her thing. I wanted these two to talk. That has not happened. So let's have them go ahead and do that. Um, kiss neck. Your child is right there. You bring out the best in people. Or they can just have a regular conversation so we haven't literally we have not spoken to each other yet today that is what happens when there's so many children in the house so let's do small talk am I missing it small talk um, brag about baby boast about family discuss work brighten day let's brighten day I don't think he will want to discuss work when he just has such an embarrassing article flop he doesn't seem to be bothered by it comfy from expensive furniture I'm going to assume that that has something to do with his aspiration, because that seems odd. Um, fresh and frisky, from tempting romance while in clean surroundings. What else does he have going on? That's it. He enjoyed his meal, and he feels like the decorations are nice. I don't know why her hair keeps clipping into that sweater. That's weird to me. Um, he is a romantic sim, so he's going to be flirty a lot. The baby is awake. What does she have going on? She is sad. She's awake and sad from waking up. Dylan is awake and in a sad mood. I mean, for no good reason. Kyle just became good friends with Javier. You weren't good friends with your husband before, ma'am? Are, are they married? Am I joking? Okay, they are. Okay, for whatever reason, they just weren't good friends. Um, she needs to use her diaper and she also needs to eat. So I feel like we should wait to do those things. Scout's responsibility is in trait to earn the responsible trait? Really? All right, this school might be a little OP because that usually takes until they're kids. I don't think I've ever had a responsible toddler in the entire time that I've played this game. Milestones, first day of preschool. Scout had her first day of preschool from the education overhaul by a deep indigo. Um... The glory of stories. Kyle can't get enough of the stories Javier tell tells, especially that last one. It really brought that conversation alive. Would you say Kyle likes stories? Sure, she spends all of her time with these children. It probably would be really good for her to um, hear about what's going on in the outside world. Scout's conflict resolution is in range to earn the mediator trait. Okay, this is really OP. Um, learn to climb stairs. Scout can now reach new heights, literally, and learn to walk. Oh, the place the Scout will go. Her manners, like all of her, oh my gosh, this is so OP. This is ridiculously overpowered. I don't even know how 
yeah, like there's no way that as a toddler, her traits, <laughs> like all of her progress should be that high. Um, okay, so she's home. Little Scout's progress, what's happening? Where are y'all going? I don't, where are you going? Woohoo, no. All of your children are home, it is 5 p.m., absolutely not. Little Scout progress has been a bit slower compared to peers, what? A stronger partnership with those at home to make sure she doesn't fall behind is recommended. So here is the second time today that our parenting has been insulted and I don't appreciate it. We just got up, we made sure that she had a delicious breakfast. How are we not, and look at all of the progress that she made, like what is going on? I'm not willing to accept this game. I'm not accepting this. This is crazy. Look at this progress. Does that look like the progress of a person who doesn't have active parents at home? Unacceptable. Not happening. Um, so what does she need to do? First of all, where is she? Um, oh, she's standing out here. Is she crying? What does she have going on? She needs nothing. All right, so the preschool was absolutely OP, but I am not mad at it. So let's have her come inside. And what could she possibly want to do? Where are her skills? All right, all twos and threes. I think that's pretty decent for us only being in here for like three days. So what can she do? Because I do think that mom needs to start working on dinner. No one is hungry, though, except for Dylan. She's not hungry. All right, well, you didn't eat your lunch at school, so that's kind of on you. But we will feed you. Um, a friendly voice from friendly advice sentiment when Chase remembers the Sims words her goals become clearer in her mind I don't know who that was um, you're not hungry and you're kind of hungry so let's just go ahead and make some dinner for the family and while we're doing that I will have Javi um, change Dylan's diaper and then get her fed so what are we gonna do for dinner um, let's see what are our options she has a pretty high cooking skill and gourmet cooking skill, but we do have one picky eater in the house. So let's look at our dinner options. We can go meat, soups and salads, vegetables, or fish and seafood. I feel like fish and seafood is going to be a problem if we want um, Scout to eat it. Vegetables, soups and salads. It's warm out, so we don't want to go that direction. So let's just look at meat. Um, these are all super fancy. Butter chicken chicken and dumplings chicken stir fry maybe coco vaughn that's really famous or um fancy for a random friday night dinner maybe we'll make a pizza should we make a pizza i feel like we should make a pizza let's do that all right so let's put the pizza oven over here and then do we have dough we do have dough um let's just make a cheese pizza or we can prep some meat let's prep some meat and then make a pepperoni pizza so she can come in here she can prep some meat prep ingredients um prepped meat we have wrapped white meat all right so this is the reason why i don't have the um simple living lot trait on i normally do when i'm playing especially like family gameplay but for whatever reason even though we have a stocked refrigerator, it's saying we don't have flour, sugar, or milk a lot of times. It's usually those ones, but like meat is a weird thing for us to not have, and we definitely have meat substitute. So that's why I had to turn it off. I don't know if it's conflicting with one of my cooking mods or like what the situation is, but I didn't have time to figure that out, so I gave up and took the trade off. Let's go with prepped meat. Let's do that, and then you are going to come over here and pick up your child. I was supposed to find something for um, Scout to do. Scout can, why don't you go up to your room, Scout? Go up to your room and play kitchen. And then he has picked up the child. He has not picked up the child for whatever reason. He is just standing there. Is my game not, What is it? what is happening? All right, let me just give it a second. Hope that it's not preparing to crash. What is going on? The time isn't moving either. So hopefully it's like a last exception situation. Because she stopped whatever she was supposed to be doing. So I'm going to assume that it has something to do with her. Yes. All right. Wait, where are you going? No, I told you to do a whole other thing. I get that it's going to take a minute, but like, please 
Is it done? Prep to meet. Go and get it. Oh, it's still in progress. Okay, fine. Do this. You are not touching that baby. He is going to do that. And it looks like Scout does not want to go upstairs and do what I asked her to do. So let's have Scout come in here and wake up Graham. <laughs> because Graham has been in a bad mood. So we're going to improve his mood. And he is going to go and pick up that baby, I hope. Pick up. Chase has reached um, video gaming level 2. And Dylan has unlocked the laughing milestone. What's so funny, Dylan started laughing for the first time. The cutest of giggles will now escape her while playing with toys and interacting with other sims. More playing and socializing will lead to her lead her to start babbling. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time talking. Why won't you touch the child? Please go and get the child. Javi. 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 Javi, go get the child. Pick her up. Is everyone broken? What is going on? It is 5.30, Javi. It took you like an hour and you haven't done what I asked you to do. I'm so annoyed. All right, I'm going to reset Javi. Obviously, Javi needs to be reset. Um, Did I, I pass it? Resets it. All right, now please pick up that child, Harvey. Or right, Javi. Is it her? Is she stopping you? She is because she's looking at toys. I just disrespected Javi for no reason. It wasn't even his fault. He was doing what he was supposed to do. He was just waiting for his child to stop interfering with what he needed to do. So that's on, that's not on him. Um, all right, so you can come and get this, right? Collect prepped ingredients. And then you should be able to come over here and make that pepperoni pizza that we talked about. And while you were doing that, why don't you come over here and ask Scout about her day? And maybe you can ask Scout and Chase about their days. Oh wait, he's got the baby. He's doing it. Go upstairs. Because for whatever reason, when I say change diaper, if you're not in the room with the changing table, sometimes they'll just throw the diaper on the floor randomly. And I can't, I can't get down with that. Um, so after you put the pizza in, you're going to come over here and you're going to talk to friendly, small talk, talk about day. And then I think we are going to include Chase in that conversation. Let's find out how school was for everyone. Friendly, um, small talk, uh, ask about day. Let's talk to both of them. And he should be upstairs now. Yes. So please change that baby. Change Dylan's diaper. Thank you. It's like they need a second to like figure out what you said before they start doing anything. That is adorable. She's having the time of her life right now. The giggling is cute. I'll give them that. I'm just glad she has yet to pee on anyone. So what is she crying for? What's happening to you? Oh, because she's hungry. Well, we're going to feed you. Don't you worry about it. Um, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. And we were just, our parenting was just disrespected. And look, we're making people smile. Um, all right, come over here, Javi. Please sit down. Graham is so high maintenance. Like he is always asking for something. They're still chatting. After he feeds the baby, he can play with Graham. Um, baby care, feed, bottle feed. Reach social level two. Chase can now watch Sim.TV on a computer. So maybe that's meant to be like YouTube. You can't watch YouTube, you're a child. Um, okay, they're still chatting. Love this super cute let's see what's happening with that pizza is it done um well wrong sim she can't cook it is all right so let's go ahead and collect that meal and wait where are you going spray the monster under the bed we don't have time for that right now kyle i'm pretty sure i have monster under the bed turned off anyway come get that pizza 
And then I think we are going to come in here. Can Kyle or Chase do it? Let's have her serve drinks. Um, soft drinks. The kids can have, well, she can have iced tea. Because I'm pretty sure that um, Scout's going to have to have something else. So I just need one iced tea to make its way onto the table. Are you still feeding? You are. She's grabbed that. She's going to put a single iced tea on the table. And then I'm pretty sure this is illegal in most states. But I'm also going to need you to put a couple of glasses of wine on this table. <laughs> Can you do that? Um, wine. Let's go with a red nectar blend. I just need two of those, please. Whenever there's like an obstruction or something in the way, they just won't put anything there. All right, so that's enough. That's all I need. All right, so what is going on upstairs, Javi? I do think that you need to go to the restroom. So I will allow you to choose the restroom of your, of your dreams. Go to whatever restroom that is. You've got the pizza. You are still feeding the, no, you're done feeding the baby. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you have done all the stuff that you need to do she's not going to eat so let's put Dylan here and maybe she can play with some toys and then Scout is ready for dinner Chase is using the restroom we will have her wash her hands when she's done and she should be washing her hands for dinner anyway and then you've kind of got to go to the restroom, but I think you'll make it. So bring that pizza that I'm pretty sure is in your inventory. You have prepped meat in your inventory that probably does not smell the best. Let's put that in the refrigerator. And then where is the pizza? I'm sorry. Did you not get the pizza? You did. What did you do with it? Where is my pizza? Am I just not seeing it and it's like on the counter or someplace? I'm so confused. Did she put that pizza someplace else? I told her to collect it. Okay, y'all are seeing this. There is no pizza in her inventory. She absolutely made a pizza. Did the pizza go in someone else's inventory? No one has this pizza. Oh, but wait, she did bring home a drawing. Drawn by Chase Rivera on her first day of school. Love that. Let's put that in the kitchen. We'll put it here and then I'm going to fix it. You can go like right over the microwave. So let's put it here. But I am really concerned about the whereabouts of that pizza. I had a whole plan. This has never happened to me. Like, I don't know if that's a common thing. Where the pizza goes missing or did the pizza not go missing and I'm just missing it I do not see a pizza here but it's also not in the oven did she put it like in front no where is my pizza all right so we don't have a pizza even though we made a pizza, it is now 7.53. It is really, why does she keep throwing this on the floor? It is really close to bedtime for these children. Put that in your inventory. And now we have to make another pizza. That is infuriating. All right, please come over here and I'm gonna watch this whole time. I'm gonna watch this pizza be made. Pepperoni pizza. Make that pizza. Why is nothing happening? I'm sorry, is our pizza thing broken? Is that the issue? Can she not cook anything else? What is going on with my game? She is not making the pizza that I just asked her to make. Cook, pepperoni pizza. There we go, all right, now she's making it. I don't know what is happening. I have disappearing pizzas. I better not find that pizza like in the basement or something weird. I'm going to be highly annoyed if I do. So I'm going to watch her the whole time she's making that. The baby is upset because she is tired. 
um darn it i'm gonna have to check one second one second try to go night night all right let's get back to this pizza because i have to obviously watch you the whole time um he has to use the restroom i'll have him do that scout's still doing great we're watching the pizza because obviously we have to otherwise it may disappear i cannot believe that my pizza went missing Maggie is having the time of her life outside. Um, boil kettle. You can't pour a drink until you brewed a full pot of water. We're going to have to hold off on doing that. One of these days, I will actually remember to use that. Today won't be that day. This actually looks really cool. Pepperoni pizza, excellent quality. Let's see if we actually get it this time. Why won't she go to sleep? She's having a really hard time. How much longer does it say one minute until ready all right get that pizza serve meal because i can't trust you to do anything else all right so even though we're home we have put it in a box all right we have the pizza the pizza has actually appeared it is a real thing so let's move that pizza into the dining room Um, I feel like that's not the best place because it is clipping. Can we move it over here? I suppose we can, and then we can have the family sit here. So we'll have Kyle sit there, and, or not Kyle, that's not where Kyle is going to sit. Why can I never remember these Sims names? Um, I think it needs to be on this side, right? That is where Hobby will sit. And Kyle will sit here, and of course the baby will sit there. So let's disable pickup, and let's have Scout placed in the high chair. Um, put Scout here. I know that it doesn't give you the option to just like pick up a serving. So everyone's gonna have to grab their own serving with the exception of Scout. I'm gonna have to grab a serving and then stop her from eating it so that she can give the baby some pizza all right so you can sit here that scared me to death oh my gosh I didn't know what was happening I thought they had a rat in their garage Chase can sit there dad's gonna sit here and then I need to snatch that pizza out of her hand immediately yeah put that down all right give your daughter um, what should she have to drink? Um, strawberry and banana. That sounds weird. Peach, orange, multi-fruit, grape. Let's go with grape. And then we'll give her that and she can sit down and eat that pizza. And you will sit here. Will everyone be able to grab pizza from the other end of the table? I wonder. I'm just going to move it. Um, let's go chase first, grab a serving, and then, oh, no, she's going to get up. Where are you going? You have moved unnecessarily. Fine, she wanted to be closer to her dad. I will allow it. He's going to grab a serving, and hopefully he doesn't also have to get up. There you go. Drink that wine. And then, oh, this child. Oh, my God. I cannot. Everybody going off on her. She deserves it. You had that one to come in. And look, she doesn't even care. Look at her face. This child might be a demon. It might be a demon child. She is unfazed. And she wasn't hungry, so that's fine. We will let her just sit there and maybe she'll drink her juice. Did she drink it? I want more. I want, I want more. Okay. Um, and then we'll have her grab a serving. Grab a serving and you can also drink that wine and we'll just have them talk about their day at nine o'clock at night it is late everyone should be in the bed well i guess it's friday so it's fine um so talk to your other child let's compliment sense of humor and then let's also talk to javi who is so fine i just can't i can't get over how fine javi is 
Um, you have such a great sense of humor. You always know how to make me laugh. And that increased her confidence. Thanks. It's all part of my master plan to take over the world with bad, with dad jokes. I cannot read today. Um, I think I already said that Dylan unlocked the grab milestone. With all her might, Dylan managed to pick up and grab onto something for the first time. Continue to play with toys to strengthen fine motor development. And then... You have a fearless spirit. It's amazing. Thank you. I try to be courageous and not let fear hold me back. All right. So the family is having a nice little evening dinner. It's Friday. Um, I think Love Day is tomorrow, but I think this is a really good place to leave it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Kyle and Javi and the rest of the family. Let me know if you want to see more of them. Um, cause I can definitely do that. Maybe take them out into the world, go to the park, do some other things, take, um, Dylan for a walk in the baby carrier. Um, so yeah, there's definitely other stuff that I can do. If you guys want to see more, just let me know down in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, all those things are really, really helpful to push these videos. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have. So thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.